it is a question of training, of being technically well prepared. Uh, it is a question of investigation, of intelligence, and of firepower in general to fight against terrorism. But in my view, I would, besides all this, which is obvious, I would focus on civil society. I would focus on those strategies that make people participate in the political life of their country. By experience, I know that only when you have independent forces or a strong civil society that can respond to violence, only then can you see that violence declines. So this is why, in a provocation, I said we should encourage social movements, NGOs, a pro independent media, and so on and so on. So a strong, participative society which responds to uh, violence, both violence by terrorists and violence by the state. Armed groups which were active during the 1970s and 80s, for example, started declining and then finally collapsed when civil society itself said, wait a minute, you're not representing us. We have nothing to do with you. So it was not just the police and just <coughs> the military which responded, but it was a civil society that isolated those people totally. We cannot have a democracy that expresses itself only with one vote that you express every four or five years. People have to be solicited to participate in the democratic life. So I think that a strong democracy, a strong democracy would find it much easier to combat terrorism. If we find it so difficult because we are weak democracies.